Former Defense Secretary James Mattis has taken some steps towards speaking out against President Donald Trump, but he has drawn criticism for not doing so forcefully enough. Mattis questioned the president's leadership in an excerpt from his forthcoming book, Call Sign Chaos, Learning to Lead, but defended his decision to veil his criticism of a sitting president. He clearly seems to believe lacks the cognition and character to serve in the White House, but many believe that's just not good enough, reported the Washington Post. Advertisement, I think he has one of two paths, said Lauren DeJong Schulman, a Defense Department official in the Obama administration. He can either remain silent, or he can go out with very active discussion about the direction we should go and the problems with the President of the United States. I don't think there is a middle road. Schulman, is now a fellow at the Bipartisan Center for a New American Security, said the former Defense Secretary was incredibly naive, and showed the same lack of political astuteness he had while leading the Pentagon. One retired high-ranking U.S. Army officer said Mattis had endorsed Trump's worst abuses by remaining silent. Mattis saw his duty as preventing the worst from happening, said retired Army LT. Colonel Jason Dempsey, but he also legitimized the worst. He lent his honor and integrity to the Trump administration. He didn't just give the President Jim Mattis his credibility. He gave Donald Trump the military's credibility. Advertisement Mattis was the first former general to leave the Pentagon since Gen. George Marshall in 1950, and his recent military background complicated his role in civilian leadership, and prevented him from speaking out forcefully against the president he once served. I think Mattis is correct to be sensitive to the way his views would be linked to his status as a retired general officer, and not merely as a retired cabinet official, said Peter Fever, who served in the George W. Bush administration. Is his first name General Mattis, or is his first name Secretary Mattis? Look at the way people refer to him, especially on cable TV. His military identity remains quite strong, even though he was in a political position. Advertisement enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DCR report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate or a project of venture capital bros. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request. Let you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DCR report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. 
Unlike other news sites, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Rao Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate or a project of venture capital bros. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's block ads. Why?